going on, guys? It's out Presto Sean. I got another, um, so not not survival map, Skyblock episode for you guys today. Last episode, we ended off we were making the platform for our Nether portal so we could travel to the Nether. I heard I heard there's more items in the Nether. There's a whole no another chest on the island in the Nether, so you have to go looking for that. So I'm gonna give you the show you the list of the challenges for Skyblock real quick. So here it is. All right, guys. So here's the list of the challenges for Skyblock. And this is where you go to download it too. So, yeah, this is the website you go to download it on Minecraft forums. You can download it right there. Okay, so anyway, here's the list of the challenges. Okay, the rules. Do not purposely jump off the island to regenerate your health. So, okay. Do not make a bridge to the mainland. Oh, you know what? I'm still going to make a bridge to the mainland because that's where you get most of the supplies. Well, I might make a bridge to the mainland, but we'll, we'll see, okay? We'll see. No mods, hacks, flying, etc. Play on at least easy difficulty. At least. Okay, so you can't. You have to play on harder than easy. Post pictures of your achievements in progress. Have fun. Okay, so here's the challenges Build a cobblestone generator. Check, we did that. Build a house. Expand the island. Make a melon farm. Make a pumpkin farm. Make a reed slash sugar cane farm. Make a wheat farm. So basically, make all the farms. Craft a bed. Make 64 stone bricks. That'll be easy. Because we already have cobblestone, we can just melt that and get ourselves some stone bricks. Make 20 torches. Make an infinite water source. Craft a furnace. Make a small lake. Build a flat platform 24 blocks away from the island for mobs to spawn. Make 10 cactus green dye. Make 10 mushroom stew. Craft 10 jack-o'-lanterns, bookcases, bread, ender pearls, fish, black wool, gray wool. Craft all that wool, okay? We only make 10 of each color of wool. Craft 10 snow golems, craft 20 paintings, build and light and build and light another portal. Okay, so we're about to do that. Craft 5 golden nuts, 16 glass panes, that'll be easy. Collect 50 birch logs, collect 64 arrows and craft a bow. Craft 10 stone buttons, slabs, signs, ladder fences, trapdoors, bridge plates, craft 20 cobblestone. Okay. So that's the list of the challenges, and let's get back. Alright, so we're jumping right back into this gameplay. Now, before we make our nether portal, we need to chop down this tree. Because, might as well, because we need some more wood. Might need to expand the platform out a little bit for the tree, just in case it... So we can gather all the saplings and everything that falls down. At least we have a better chance of picking them up. So we might want to expand that. But I'll do that a bit later. I got a whole bunch of things I'm setting up for later, cause I don't really feel like doing it right now. Right now, I pri our priority is to build a Nether portal. Then you can check off, check that off the list. Go say now we need to get a sapling. Let's see how many saplings we can get. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, right. uh, we just lost a sapling. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. Come on, need another sapling here. Give me a sapling. Give me a sapling. So apparently we cannot build to the mainland. We can't build a bridge to the mainland. I've seen everybody that does sp Skyblock build a bridge over to the mainland. Oh, oh, we got one seed. One sapling. Build a bridge over to the mainland. But I don't think we're going to because it's, it's in the rules not to. But we might still just because it's pretty much we need it. But we're just going to have to see. Hopefully they have set everything set out for you, so you don't need to do that. Okay, so let's build this little bridge thing off to the side, so we can't fall off. That'll be bad. I wanna... yeah, so that looks pretty good. Gather this cobblestone. Ah! Quit burning my cobblestone! Hey, hey, hey! Stop it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Alright, good enough for now. Let's gather stuff up and let's extend this side out as well. Want to create like a nice safety platform. Pr probably want to do it right there too so we can't fall off. We want to gather the sand off of that little island over there because we're going to need it. The sand is also another supply we need, to, we need to be watching out for and tending to and everything. So yeah, we need to keep that in mind. Dang it, we need to constantly be gathering cobblestone. And this cobblestone generator isn't even that good. 
Stop it. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. <laughs> I just hate how inefficient and inconsistent this cobblestone generator is. It gets annoying sometimes, having to constantly be gathering cobblestone from it. It gets kind of annoying. Anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying this um, Skyblock Survival. I've wanted to do a Skyblock for a long time. I know a lot of people do Skyblock Survival. It's like millions of people that do Skyblock. But I felt like recording my own Skyblock just to see how good it goes. It's considered to be like the hardest um, custom map for Minecraft. That's why I wanted to try it out because it, it's a bit of a change and the difficulty is... Oh, let me check the dif difficulty. Okay, I'm playing on hard. That's good. That's always a good thing. Okay, so we need more cobblestone to that than that to finish this. Um, yeah, I should have enough room to do the the whole nether portal. Hey, hey, I almost fell in the lava there. Nobody likes to fall in lava. It's not very fun. Okay, we got three cobblestone. Okay. I'm, I am, my heart is racing right now. If I accidentally set this obsidian down wrong, I have no diamond pickaxe, so I'm not going to be able to reset it, so. Here goes nothing. Okay, so it has to be two blocks. Wait, how am I going to activate this if I have no flint and steel? Huh. Didn't think about that. How is this going to work if I have no flint and steel? Oh, anyway, let's just make the portal. Okay, so it has to go like this. Set that down for now. And this. And this. One, two, three, four, five. So it's raised up two. One. Uh, this is intense. I don't want to do this wrong. Because I don't have a diamond pickaxe. If I mess up making this portal, then nothing I can do. Uh-oh. Did I? Oh, no. I did it right. Nice. Okay, so the nether portal is good. Now all we need is flint and steel, but how am I going to get flint and steel if I have no gravel and no iron ingots? ingots. So how is this going to work out? Just a second. Let me head over to this island. Maybe there was something I missed. I don't know. Sand. It's just a bunch of sand. You can use the... Dang it, well at least we got the nether the nether portal finished. That's kind of a achievement. Hold on, let me head over to Google and see if I can figure out why. Hey, quit turning to ice. See if I can figure out why where I can get the flint and steel so we can activate our nether, nether portal. So be back in a sec. Okay guys, so I think I figured out how to do this. First of all, we're gonna to need to extend this platform out. Cause to do this we need to you don't need flint and steel to light the nether portal, you can use lava. I'm about to show you how you can light the nether portal without flint and steel. So, first of all, we need to get us some more cobblestone. Which will take a long time, as usual. So we need, like, ten pieces of cobblestone, I think. Yeah, ten pieces of cobblestone. It should work, I think. <laughs> I think ten is about enough. That sounds about right. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm extremely tired right now. If you've noticed, I'm not talking a lot in this commentary. It's extremely late at night, and so I decided to record because I had nothing else to do. Yeah, and I'm extremely tired. So the commentary, you're not going to hear it a lot in this episode, just cause, mainly because I'm tired. Okay, so let's extend this out a bit. See if we can finish this. Nope, we're going to need more cobblestone. I hate having to constantly be gathering cobblestone. It gets annoying after a while, especially since it, it's not very consistent. It takes forever just to gather a, a small amount of cobblestone. <laughs> just like this. So I'll sit here a while. I'll come back to you guys once I gather a good amount of cobblestone. Okay, so I got 22 cobblestone. I'm hoping that's enough to finish this here. Let's just see. So I'm going to need to add this platform just like this. And boom, boom. Okay. So next thing I think we have to do is 
like do this. Oh uh, yeah, then then stack it up just like this. Okay, so now we need to get our bucket and let's get us this lava. That'll just have to be out of there for now. That just took away like all of our light source. The lava is our only light source since we don't have torches. Okay, so I don't know if I'm doing this right. Um, hold on. I think I'm doing this wrong. All right, so I've looked back into it. Apparently, I am doing it right. So the only way for this to work is to use wooden planks. Okay, so you set your lava down in there. You place your wooden planks right over it, just like that. And it should light the nether portal. As long as we give it time, it shouldn't light the nether portal. So we just gotta let it sit there for a while and hope it lights our nether portal for us. And then we could take a epic journey to the nether. Okay, so our tree grew back again, so let's gather this real quick. Takes a while. I'm gonna need to make, make an axe. You now what? Let's do that real quick. I have some cobblestone. Might as well make an axe. Okay, so let's get some sticks. Got some sticks. Now, let's just make it a wooden axe. I think a wooden axe will be good enough. We don't need to upgrade to the Stone Age just yet, because we want to keep our reserve our cobblestone, since it's so ri so hard to get. So I'm going to keep my bucket in there just in case I die, because the bucket is extremely important. I don't want to die and lose the bucket. There's pretty much no way to get the the iron required to make another bucket, so. Yeah. Once I, I'm done gathering this wood, I'm gonna head over to there and kill all those mods. Mobs. Mobs. <laughs> Sorry, my I can't talk right now. Okay, so we got a sapling. Let's set that down, and let's go slay these mod mobs. I wanna keep on saying mods. Come on, hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Ouch. Die. Ouch. No, 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 don't hit me one more time. I don't want you to hit me one more time. No, 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 no. Uh, you can't. No, stay away from me. Crap, do I have any food? I'm gonna need me make. Going to. Excuse me. Oh, look, an apple. Thank you. <laughs> I need uh, food anyway. Come on. Like, like this nether portal. Okay, just a second. Okay, guys. If you notice, I just died. Yes. The zombie absolutely assassinated me from behind. Oh! Ah! Yes, the nether portal! It has lit up! The light is shining everywhere! Oh yes, it worked! My wonderful creation! <laughs> Alright, so back to calm mode. Let's destroy this. What? So what did I lose? I didn't really lose anything, actually. But that zombie absolutely owned me. Okay, so we can gather this wood now. Now that we have an awesome nether portal. That'll be awesome. So we need our bucket so we can pick our lava back up. Put it back in our cobblestone generator. So let's pick this back up. And, yep. Okay, so let's set this lava back in. Let's make a sword, because we're going to need a sword for the nether. Because we don't want to get absolutely owned. Let's make two stone swords, might as well, because I have that much cobblestone. And let's set this bucket in there. Let's set everything we don't need in here. And this has been a very short episode of the Skyblock Survival. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Next episode, I will take the epic journey into the nether. So I hope you're excited for that. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. And peace out.